A lot of times students come to math class ready to do problems like this. What I see is students sit down and they start chugging through 8 plus 8 is 16, then they go ahead and they divide by 4 and then take away 6. So the student just keeps going and says, okay, 16 divided by 4 is 4, take away 6, and gets the answer, negative 2. Does that look right to you? See if you can think about that and see if you think that's a correct answer. I'm going to tell you that's actually mathematically incorrect. Everything the student did was like a right answer, like 8 plus 8 is 16, and 2 times itself is 4, but there's something really tricky about math, and it's called the order of operations. Before I tell you about what the order of operations is, let's look at this one. This is the exact same problem, but what if a student came at it like this? They said, okay, 8 plus 8, I'll deal with that later. I'm going to start by doing, I don't know, 2 times itself is 4, and then take away 6. That's totally fine. I mean, like maybe the student started out like this. So they did 16 divided by 4. Oh, well, first they did 4 take away 6 and saw, okay, that's going to be negative 2. So this person is doing all the right math, right? I mean, 16 divided by 2. They got their answer was negative 8. Is that okay? You guys, math is like a total drag because of this. We wrote the same problem, and you're doing everything mathematically correct, but you get two different answers. They're totally different. So the thing I want to talk about today is what's called the order of operations. Most people remember it using this acronym, PEMDAS, which stands for Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally. That's another way you could remember it. But each letter stands for a mathematical thing. P stands for parentheses, E is for exponents, M, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Before we go on, I'm going to show one other trick to this PEMDAS business, and that's these little arrows that help me, because when you come to multiplying and dividing, or the adding and subtracting step, you need to be really careful to move from left to right. You do parentheses first, then you do the exponents, then you do multiplying and dividing from left to right, then you do adding subtracting from left to right. So I want to revisit this problem we started with, only now let's do it the correct way. First we want to do parentheses. Oh, there are none, so that's okay. Next thing we need to do is exponents, because P-E, E stands for exponents. 8 plus 8 divided by 2 squared, or times itself is equal to 4, and take away 6. So we've done parentheses, we've done exponents. Now I need to multiply and divide from left to right. So look for a multiply or divide symbol, and there it is right there. That first 8 stays the same. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and then take away 6. My final step is to do the adding, subtracting from left to right. So I'll have 10 take away 6, which is 4. This is the correct answer. Both of those people got it wrong. They did the right math, just in the wrong order. It's really tricky, and it's something that you're going to make mistakes on probably in your future. So if you can really focus on learning to do the order of operations correctly now, it'll help you so much in your math future. Before you start doing your homework or look at examples, I want you to think about one more thing, and that's how there's different kinds of parentheses. Sometimes you see parentheses like this, Sometimes you see them like that. Sometimes you see them with these little swirly things. Sometimes you get absolute value marks. These are all different kinds of parentheses or groupings. You need to be careful that whatever kind of parentheses grouping you have, you do that piece first before you move on to the exponents. So if you don't remember anything else from this video, I hope you guys remember PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or parentheses, exponents, Multiply, divide from left to right, add, subtract from left to right.